Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to draw an organic structure in Mastering Chemistry using the Marvin JS tool. So I'm going to start by just drawing a skeleton. I'm not going to worry about having the correct elements in here. I'm just going to draw a carbon skeleton first. So I'm going to start by clicking on my bond tool, holding down and choosing the single bond. I'm going to start by clicking anywhere on the interface, and that's going to give me my first two carbon atoms. If I click on the second carbon atom, it's going to add another bond going straight up. We don't want that, but we can get rid of that later. So I'm going to add that bond going up, then click again on that second carbon atom, and that's going to continue our skeleton for us. So same thing here at carbon three. If I click on it, it's going to add a bond going down. Click again, it's going to continue our skeleton to the right. And now I'm going to keep doing that until we have our skeleton in place. Okay, now I'm going to go in and use the eraser tool to get rid of those extra groups that we don't need. So we don't need this methyl group here at position two, and we don't need the methyl group at position three. Okay, now I'm going to change both of those methyl groups on the right side to oxygen. So I'm going to click on oxygen, and then click on top of both of those methyl groups to get rid of them and replace them with oxygens. So the software automatically adds an H when you add to an oxygen, so we want to get rid of that on both of these. So on the oxygen pointing down, we can get rid of that H by changing it from a single bond to a double bond. So we're going to click on the bond tool, hold down for more options, select a double bond, and then click in between the carbon and the oxygen. Since oxygen can only make two bonds, that double bond is going to take up both of those. That'll get rid of our H. For this other oxygen, we're going to click the decrease charge button to add a negative charge to that oxygen. When we click on that oxygen with the decrease charge button, it's going to remove the hydrogen and replace it with a lone pair, giving our oxygen a negative charge like we need. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add our radical. So we're going to click on this increase radical button, click on carbon 2 to add our radical there. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is add our wedge and dash bonds to our stereo center. So I'm going to start by clicking on this bond tool, hold down for more options, and select the wedge or single up button. I'm going to click on this second carbon here, but I'm going to hold down my mouse and drag up and to the left so that I can add that wedge at an angle, and then let go of your mouse and it should add it. So that bond should be to a chlorine, so we're going to click on the chlorine button and change that methyl group into a chlorine. Okay, now let's add our hydrogen as a dash. So click on the bond tool, hold down for more options, choose the dash or single down, click and hold on that carbon and drag to the top right so we can add that at a bit of an angle, then release the mouse. Now we're going to change that to a hydrogen, so click hydrogen on the right and replace that methyl group with a hydrogen. Okay, it looks like we got everything. Let's scroll down and hit submit. Okay, so that's how you draw organic structures in Mastering Chemistry using the Marvin JS interface.